Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Inlandia Literary Journeys. I'm here today. I'm Orlando Ramirez, editor of La Prensa. I'm here with John Bender, who is the uh, Metro editor for the Press Enterprise newspaper, and Katie Porter, who is the executive director, director yes. of the Inlandia Institute. Uh, and today we have a very special uh, edition in that we are sitting here with Gail Brandeis, who is the Inlandia literary laureate, poet, novelist, all around talented individual who is um, well known in the area. And she's here with her father, Buzz, who has written a book uh, called The Book of Wonders. And there's an interesting tale behind how this book came to be. Buzz, do you want to tell us about it? Sure. Um, it's a kind of a surprise to me, as a matter of fact. Um, I never expected to have a book. I had no, no plans or ambition to write a book or even think about a book. And uh, I had been working in an ad agency in Chicago, uh, moved to California, uh, my wife and I, lived in Oceanside at, for a while. And one day, as I was moseying around, um, I wondered whether birds ever get constipated. <laughs> now, why I thought that, I have no idea, other than the fact that birds were kind of uh, helping themselves with me. And uh, so maybe that's why I wondered if they ever got constipated, because I never experienced that phenomenon. <laughs> So He's he a target for birds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and that was the start of it. I wondered about birds. I have no idea why. I had no idea of having a book um, or of thinking of more wonders. It just never occurred to me. So the book is full of your observations. You wondered about different things. Read just a couple right now. Okay. So that the viewer gets an idea of what, what is in the book. All right. Well, I can... Well, then we'll have you read more later, but that, as we discuss, it'll be helpful to know. Okay. Um, well, here's one. Kind of interesting. I wonder about the mongoose, which is not a goose at all. <laughs> I think it should have been called a non-goose. <laughs> <laughs> why I uh, thought of that, I have no <laughs> idea. Um, I wonder why it's necessary to pronounce two people, husband and wife. It seems easy enough just to say it. <laughs> <laughs> now, Gail, so you knew your dad was collecting these? Yes. And, and you, to s celebrate one of his birthdays, you Tell us about that. Yeah, I knew that he had filled several notebooks with these wonders. And so for his 90th birthday, I thought it would be great to put them together into a collection. So I convinced my mom to spirit them away um, secretly. And I typed them all up and, and uh, put the book together through lulu.com. It's a self-publishing website. And surprised him with the book on his 90th birthday. It was a big surprise. Um, as Gail said, I had filled, well, I carried a little notebook with me all the time after the, uh, the bird incident. <laughs> and I figured, well, if I was going to think about other stuff, I might as well write it down. So I had little notebooks, and before I knew it, oh, I had three or four of these notebooks, and for my 90th birthday, I said I, to my kids, I have four kids, um, Gail being one of them, <laughs> um, and I said, you know, I really don't want anything special. Uh, just let's all get together, the family, no gifts, nothing like that. And came the, the day of the birthday, the, the kids had uh, reserved a room in a restaurant and there at the dining table for the family was a package at my place setting. And I opened it, and this was it. 
Gail and family actually printed, published a book. This is my first book of wonders. I am amazed. I had no intention ever of thinking about a book or writing a book about wonders, nor did I expect to have it published. I thought it would be for my own amusement. Mm -hmm. But there it was, sitting right in front of me, and that really started a whole new chapter in my life. Now it's for everyone's amusement. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're at Cellar Door Books, right? Yeah. Yep. So. Exactly. And you have a reading coming up? Coming up on October 12th. Yeah, the day after his 94th birthday. Yeah. Now what time is that? That is at 1 p.m. Okay. And, October and where, 12th. Where will that be? Cellar Door Books. That's mm -hmm. at the Canyon Crest Shopping Center. Yes. 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 Yeah, wonderful independent bookstore. Now that amazes me. Uh, not only did I ever think of having a book, but also having a reading because I had not intended anything like that. But it's been a joy. And uh, I continue to think about wonders, not as, not as much as I did in the beginning, but I still do it and I have fun. So, so what is the process here? Do they, they just pop in your brain? Or do you start trying to find some kind of angle or truth in, in, in each of these? They pop into my, you're absolutely right, they pop into my head, something might happen that stimulates me. Mm -hmm. um, or I also did get a dictionary of idioms uh -huh. because I not only write about peculiar things about animals, I kind of pull apart idioms and uh, talk about or write about um, some of the things that occur when I think about idioms. Can, can you share a few more with us right now? About the idioms, you mean? Idioms, or whatever, whatever your fancy is. Well, I, I know that another one, uh, before I even do this, is um, I wonder if uh, there are any polar, uh, bipolar bears. <laughs> um, let's see, what else do I have here? This one? <laughs> I don't know whether they, I don't know whether this should be on TV, but let's give it a whirl. I wonder when people started saying, you bet, instead of goodbye, or almost anything where there doesn't seem to be any gambling involved. On the other hand, if someone said, you bet your ass, then at least we would know that we're betting, and what? <laughs> <laughs> now, Gail, something about these captured your fancy, and you recognize that the world should hear of them, right? Oh, definitely. So why don't you share a couple of your favorites? <laughs> okay. Gosh, let's see if I can find my favorites. <laughs> I wonder if pigs feel that oink is an accurate representation of their voice. <laughs> my dad has always loved <coughs> language. And I think that that's partly why I grew up to be a writer, because I grew up around someone who just loved words and thought that words were so much fun. And um, I remember as a kid, you would ask me how my Gafangana Numa is doing. Right. <laughs> and I didn't know until much later that that actually meant serial number in German. I thought it was a, a word that he had made up. <laughs> but he just always had fun with, with words and helped me have fun with words. And so I, I love that, you know, that people can enjoy his playfulness with language through this book. That's a good word, playfulness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder about chewing the fat with someone. That sounds pretty darn unhealthy in this day and age. Mm -hmm. I wonder if cows ever get four stomach aches at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> now, Buzz, is uh, the second book coming out soon, or are you working on a sequel? Uh, I do have a notebook. It's not quite full yet. 
Um, but that, it's possible, I guess. Well, we hope it does come out. Mm -hmm. We've enjoyed these very much. And Gail, you look like you have one more to share. Oh, well, I think this one is appropriate for the, with the government shutdown going on right now. Um, I wonder if it should be mandatory for all politicians to attend regular AA or perhaps PA sessions to deal with their drunk with power problem. Mm -hmm. I forgot about it. <laughs> that is very good. I, I read a story today that a lot of the congressmen were drinking last night. Hmm. That was very appropriate. Yes. Yeah. Sadly. Well, again, Saturday, what date? Saturday, October 12th at 1 p.m., Cellar Door Books, Be There or Be Square. Yes. And don't forget to look at our Press Enterprise column every Tuesday for Inlandia and our blog, which has fresh content hopefully every day, sometimes every other day, and our video series. And for Inlandia Literary Journeys, I am Katie Porter, Executive Director with John Bender and Orlando Ramirez of the Press. Thank you very much. <laughs>